Hello everyone, welcome to another video demonstration by www.electricalpereview.com. Today's exercise, we're going to be exploring single phase watt meters with complex impedance. The problem statement reads, for the single phase circuit drawn below, determine the readings of the amp meter, voltmeter, and watt meter if the source voltage is 120 volts or 0 degrees. You'll notice our circuit diagram this time around has a complex impedance both in series and in parallel. So it's going to require complex impedance analysis, which if you're rusty on, highly recommend touching up on earlier chapters. So let's begin. We're going to define our current as our total voltage divided by our total system impedance. To find our total circuit impedance, we're going to have to combine both our series impedance and parallel impedance. Let's start by finding out the equivalent impedance of these two in parallel. We have a 15 ohm resistor in parallel with a complex impedance of J2.5. Using complex analysis, we're going to solve using reciprocals. We're going to carry our, our math in polar form since we're dividing. The resulting answer is going to be 2.47 ohms with 80.54 degrees, or converting to rectangular form for impedance, we arrive at a load impedance of 0.41 plus J2.44 ohms. Next stop, now that we have our parallel load impedance, we can combine that with our series impedance to arrive at a total circuit impedance of 10 plus J3 plus 0.41 plus J2.44 ohms. This is going to yield a total circuit equivalent impedance of 10.41 plus J5.44 ohms shown in rectangular form. And since we're going to be using this shortly for addition, I'm sorry, shortly for multiplication, we're going to go ahead and convert here to polar form. You'll see we've got 11.75 ohms with a phase angle of 27.59 for our complex total circuit impedance. Okay, now that we've got that, we're going to plug it into our formula above and solve for the current. We take our source voltage given to us in the problem statement and divide it by our total circuit equivalent impedance that we just found for a total of 120 volts divided by 11.75 ohms with an angle of 27.59 degrees. We arrive at 10.21 amps with a phase angle of negative 27.59 for our first answer of this question. Moving on, now solving for the voltage on the voltmeter. You'll see here that where it's connected, it's directly reading the terminals across our parallel load impedance. So we're going to exclude our series resistance of 10 ohms and our series complex impedance of J3. So let's plug it in. We're going to use our current that we found earlier multiplied by our parallel load impedance that we also found earlier. We're going to do the math, then we're going to arrive at 25.22 volts with a phase angle of 52.95 degrees. This is our second answer for the problem. Okay, now that we know both the voltage and the current, we can use these to find our power. Since the watt meter's voltage coil is tied directly into the load, we're also going to exclude our series impedance just like we did earlier for finding the voltage across the load. So let's plug in the information we already found. We found our voltage across the load, which is the same as the voltage that the voltmeter is reading. And we're going to use the complex conjugate of our current. You'll notice that asterisk lets you know that you're going to have to change the polarity of your phase angle of the current to carry this out. So we're going to use polar multiplication. We're going to arrive at 20, 257.50 volt amps with an angle of 80.54. Now we're not done yet. This is our apparent power, but we're interested in finding our power across the load. So to take it one step for, further, we're going to convert our answer to rectangular form. We've got our complex power is the same as 42.32 watts plus J254 vars. This is unfamiliar to you. We highly recommend you review your 
power triangle. Our answer, we take the real part of our complex power, which is 42.32 watts, which is our third and final answer to this problem. There you have it. Our three answers are a current of 10.21 amps with negative 27.59 degrees, a voltage of 25.22 volts with a phase of 52.95 degrees, and our power on our load, as seen by our wattmeter, is 42.32 watts. We hope you've enjoyed this example. For more sample problems in our premium review course, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com.